Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we're here to do your weekly love reading for the 19th of March through the 25th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. We're going to get one of these. I'm going to reveal it at the end. We will see whatever it is. This is for Sagittarius. March 19th through the 25th. What do you have for Sagittarius? What do they need to know about love? Here it is. We're going to reveal it at the end. Sagittarius. Not the best cards to come out reversed. <laughs> so, you know, this could be self-love. All right. Is there a lack of self-love here? Because the Hermit is about believing in yourself. And it's reversed. And the Ace of Cups is about love. Is somebody not believing in themselves? Not loving themselves like they need to? I mean, that's what those two cards would imply. There could also be, you know, the end of a commitment. Okay, there could be. Because the, the hair font is a commitment upright. Reverse, it's no more commitment done. And the Ace of Cups, you know, that there could be an end of a love commitment. Somebody could be restoring or regaining control in their life. You know, so instead he wins the race. I'm slowly regaining control after a loss, after a loss of love, perhaps. Woo! There is a uh, end of a commitment. Okay, now this is a. This is a contract. It could be anything. It could be with a partner. It could be with somebody at work. It could be with a family. This is a this is an end of a contract with another person. And this person could have any role in your life. But this is the end, okay? This is over. It's like they, somebody has accepted the truth in regards to some sort of emotional contract. And they have come to the conclusion that they are seeing the situation completely clearly now. They may receive some truth, okay? Some secret may come out that, you know, it's harsh. There's some, some, some harsh reality here. And it, it appears that, you know, it's allowing you, whatever this is, it's, it's for your highest good. Okay, it's for your highest good because it's, it's, it's allowing you to release something and restore control back in your life. Letting go of this, these arguments or these, uh, this conflict, you know, or this indecision is needed. It's needed. And I think many of you have went through some, had a wake-up call. You've had some major awakening, okay? You're, you're wide awake, okay? These are both awakening cards. Many of you have, have are now seeing this a situation completely clearly. And I feel like you have been taken advantage of, okay? You've been taken advantage of, and you've come to this conclusion that 
you know, it's time for me to remove these negative energies from my life. I'm moving on. I am moving on from this situation. Whatever it is, you guys are receiving the power. You're, you're hearing the truth. You're seeing the truth. And you're moving away from something that, you know, controlled you. I think you're moving away from manipulation, okay? You're move away, moving away from manipulation and control. That's what's happening here. You guys have, have, I see the light. I see the light. I'm not going to let whoever this person is steal my shine any longer. I think you were dealing with somebody who was very abrasive, very assertive, maybe bitter and angry, and they, you know, they brought your energy down. Okay, this is you, this is them. Somebody brought your energy energy down, okay? And, it, you know, they may have, um, you know, I see manipulation here. Somebody has manipulated you. They may have, um, they may have uh, not had faith in you, okay? They didn't have faith in you. They didn't have faith in your beliefs. They didn't believe in you. And now I feel like you guys ha are accepting a truth, you're seeing a truth, you're hearing a truth, and you are ending some, there's a contract that is ending here that is very practical, okay? It's a very practical ending, it is, and I feel like you guys are just doing it, I'm doing it, you know? Um, yeah, you're dropping some burdens, letting it go, you don't need this baggage anymore, right? It's like, this has been too much for me. I can't carry around this heavy weight anymore. And I think you guys are really there. You're there. I can't. I'm not going to hold on to this animosity, this load, this heaviness, this... Bitterness. I can't be involved in this bitter fight anymore. I don't want to fight. Yeah, I don't want to work on this anymore. I don't want to. I don't want to work on it. I don't want to be a part of it. I just don't want to be there. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to be involved. Because I'm not there. I just, I'm sorry. You have the Two of Cups with the Lover's card. Both reversed. You guys are ending something. Really, and sometimes you guys, you may have ended it physically months ago or years ago, or it could be yesterday, it could be today. But the fact of the matter is, you don't sometimes you don't end it mentally for for years, okay? But I think the net to time has come that you guys are letting go of animosity, you're letting go of arguments, you're letting go of somebody that judged you unfairly. They didn't have faith in you. It wasn't love. They were controlling and manipulative. And now, you know, they lacked communication skills. They were angry and bitter and they wanted to project that onto you. They didn't want you to be happy. They stole your energy. You know, they, you know, they stole your confidence and you, they made you feel unworthy and they made you feel like uh, there was a lack of uh, respect here. So I feel like you were dealing with somebody that didn't see your worth. And so they brought you down along with them. Okay. Somebody brought you down with them. And I feel like now you have received this truth. You, you're wide awake. I, I see. I see what has happened here. And I am going to drop this because I'm not going to carry it around with me anymore. I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to invest in this. I don't want to give my energy to this. It wasn't love. Ace of Cups reversed, Two of Cups reversed, Lovers reversed. It wasn't love. That's not love. Okay? There was, uh, you know, the devil is reversed as well, but the devil is manipulation. I feel like many of you had this fear of change, so you were staying someplace. You know, the devil energy was was keeping you there because it was, there was codependency there. It was comfortable 
there may have been lost, there was definitely control and manipulation. And, you know, when the, you have to find strength to overcome control and manipulation, and I think that you guys, and you have to see things clearly, you have come to this point where I see the light. I see the light, and I am freeing myself. I am releasing myself from this commitment that... doesn't serve me any longer okay and I think that you guys ha guys have you're acting on your hunches okay you're accepting this challenge you are you bringing your confidence back and you're being very courageous it looks to me like you are accepting this fate that as it is it's like I hear it I see it I know it I'm there I got it I, I you know, know what I need to do and I'm moving on. I'm moving on because I want peace in my life. I don't want conflict. I don't want bitterness. I don't want anger. I don't need your, your, I don't want to fight. And you're being objective. You're taking the lead. You're taking the lead in your own life. You're being the boss. I feel like you have been judged. You have been judged. And now you guys are, you're doing the judging. The shoe is on the other foot now. The only one that can judge me is me. So you're walking away. You're leaving something behind and bringing peace and harmony back to your life. You're letting the trouble stay in the past. Keep your trouble and don't come back. I don't need your trouble. I don't need this. You guys are, are walking away from somebody that has caused, or they're walking away from you. Some There's some kind of split here that is allowing you to restore control in your life. It's bringing you freedom, whether you know it or not. There is a split here that frees you from something that was holding you back. You weren't receiving anything from it, right? You weren't. It was giving you nothing. The only thing it was doing for you was, was stealing your energy, bringing you down. So whatever it was, it was very heavy. Somebody was weighing very heavily on you. With I mean, they were. And it was making you feel like you were unworthy, you know, and whatever, the whole nine yards. Somebody was controlling, manipulating you and making you feel like you weren't good enough. And it feels like you have come to this realization that no, no. Just because you don't have faith in me and you don't believe in me and you don't see my worth, I do. You guys are bringing success and victory. You're making progress. You have been making progress. Your self-respect shows And you're giving up on something that doesn't have any growth. It's like, I don't need to be involved in this. And that's exactly what this is. You guys are letting go of some sort of partnership, okay? You are. You are. You're letting go of a partnership that you were in, emotionally invested in at one time. You're giving up on it because it no longer serves you. And whoever this person is that you are dealing with, they they had their own issues they had their own anger issues they had their own their own um bitterness that they were trying they were trying to bring you down with them and it feels like you guys are like no 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 i see i see that i can't be a part of this anymore goodbye see ya don't come back so this is what i have for the week it's like you guys are taking action you're making a lot of progress and whether you actually walk away this week or you just make the plan, there is, I mean, with the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Lovers Reverse, there's, there's an end. There's an end of some sort of relationship that brought you down. And whether you, this is the mental ending or the physical ending or the contemplation of it, there is something that is allowing you to restore control and be free of this negative energy. 
So there is, there is absolutely freedom here. You guys are freeing yourself from something that wasn't love. Okay? It wasn't love. But the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Lovers Reversed, it wasn't love. You ready? Practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. And I really truly believe that that's exactly what you're doing. With that, that uh, King of Swords under there, I think that's your energy. I think that you guys are seeing things. You're seeing the truth for sure with the judgment and the Ace of Swords there. That's the truth. You guys have had this awakening, this epiphany that allows you to see things absolutely clearly. It could come just like that. It could come instantly where all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I got it. Holy shit. I see what has happened here. Oh my God, I can't let myself, I can't believe I let myself stay there for so long. That kind of thing. Practice compassion with yourself. Be open to seeing things from the new perspective. And when you allow that to happen, the opportunities are limitless. Stop. So anyway, that's what I have, Sagittarius, for this week. Good luck.